99 out the Fur Park Tunnel. Hey guys, Gogsy here and welcome to, I, th I think it's quite a personal vlog this week. Uh, we're not doing any football matches, uh, what I'm going to do instead though as a substitute is uh, appear as a guest on Off The Ball, only a show that I've listened to for well over 10-15 years now, uh, ever since I started getting into football. So. I'm hoping that it all goes well. I've been waiting for this day for so long. Uh, I'm shaking, but I'm good. So right now I'm going to break into a wee anecdote, which is back at the studio uh, about just my life as a football fan so far. Now before we get into a deep story about my past and my football life, my producer has just informed me that I've got to go to a previous version of myself to promote votes for my chances of winning something at the Football Blogging Awards. Take it away! In the description below, there are several links. Link 1 takes you to the official Football Blogging Awards page where you can select me in both categories I've entered. Link 2 makes you tweet your vote to the FBAs on Twitter for me in the best vlogger category. Come on trips and we get some big YouTubers here. Link 3, see above but for best young content creator. Also you can visit the Football Blogging Awards Instagram and find the appropriate posts and tag me at Gogsysan. I know I'm not asking much, but if you're a season ticket holder on the channel, I appreciate any help I can get. Also, you can pay at the gate. So, for those who haven't known me that long, i.e. since that video of Ibrox went completely viral, uh, just didn't hit my channel enough. I've been making vlogs for four years now, but before then, I didn't really go to many games week in week out, it was only really that Motherwell 4 Hamilton nil game that kick started things and I just decided right, I'm going to go to a game every week because I enjoyed making vlogs because let's be honest they're one of the easiest videos to make. But let's be honest here, I wouldn't have managed to keep a 100% record of Motherwell matches if I didn't vlog because at the end of the day people want to see the vlog. And I'm like, well, I can't be bothered today, but I'll go because I've got a vlog to make out of it. And there's my weekly post at least, with the bonus couple others, if you get so lucky. But back where it began, when I was like seven years old, going to my first few mother matches with Dad and Phil, Keith, Dave, the, the Fife branch of Motherwell supporters, that's the main three we went with. And we'd always go through the car from wherever we each lived in Fife through to Motherwell and we'd always listen to Off The Ball and it was those few Saturdays a season that I treasured the most because I only really went to, when I was in my single digits anyway, I only went to about 8, 9, maybe even 10 games a season and I cursed myself every single day of my life and I've been meaning to rectify that sort of behaviour uh, with me going to every Motherwell match I've, and I've been loving it ever since. I'm just so fortunate enough I've been able to fulfil my dream of going to every Motherwell match for the last three years now. Another dream I had was to be featured on Off The Ball and I wanted it to be off my own bat because I've done something that I enjoy and I've been lucky enough, thanks to you guys, I've been lucky enough to experience it because we're now up to, we're creeping up to 7,000 subscribers and uh, also we're in the final for the Football Blogging Awards which has seen over 140,000 nominations and I've somehow found myself in two categories for the final. I've always marvelled at the way Tam and Stuart Cosgrove just bounce off each other really well. They just suit each other down to the ground. They're a comedy double act in Scottish football. I'd always wanted to be on it, just for once, and I've actually achieved that at this early age, and honestly, walking out of that studio on Saturday after the show, I was just buzzing, like, I was so nervous before it, but as soon as, it took, it took me about 10-15 minutes to actually calm down, but as soon as I got into the swing of things, like trying to rattle off patter with Stuart Cosgrove. I thought it went alright. However, I'll let you guys 
be the judge of that. The link's in the description for the podcast. Uh, it's on the BBC Sounds app and it's also on the BBC website, I do believe. There will be links in the description. I just can't believe I'm featured on a BBC thing. <laughs> Here's my welcome pass. I feel proper professional now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now, I wasn't going to film anything uh, while I was in the studio, but I must thank them again for having me on and I feel it went all right. I've not, I've not checked social media yet to see what people say, but I, I really feel like I did all right. But I just found it funny. I was, I was on air with Leanne Creighton, Scotland internationalist, and Martin Canning, former Hamilton uh, manager and player. And we were playing Hamilton next week. It's weird, but yes, some people will be like, well, "Why were you happy to meet Martin Canning? Because it's a name in the game." And I want a future in the football media because I'm not good enough to play on the pitch. So I want to be able to be good enough to hold my own opinion on the beautiful game. Also, one more thing before I leave you is I am partaking in a Scottish YouTubers charity match against Falkirk Foundation on Saturday the 8th of June. It's at the Falkirk Stadium. The game is a 2 o'clock kickoff, so you've got enough time between the charity match and the actual Scotland vs Cyprus game on Saturday the 8th uh, to leave the Falkirk Stadium, get back to Grahamston, get the train into Queen Street and head up to Hamden. I mean, that's what I'll be doing anyway. But of course, I will be giving time to those who buy a ticket. I will be happy to meet every single one of you and I just can't wait till the day. I must apologise for my lack of activity on the channel over the last week. Uh, it's just been hectic. I've worked every single day last week, then Saturday came and went, and then Sunday, Monday, I've just been completely recovering from the busy week that's just passed and I can't wait to do it all again this week. If you've got any questions for me just leave a comment and I'll answer or if, if we get more than enough I'll do a completely different video on it and yeah guys next video I will have up hoping for Friday uh, it'll be something different again and then it'll be my match day vlog from Aki's away on Saturday. Anyway guys, my voice is completely screwed and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.